Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an NFL Week 8 preview between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, let's look at the Cowboys in this game. Great victory against the St. Louis Rams, and a star is born, pun intended, with DeMarco Murray. We had this guy rated as our second rated tailback coming out of the draft this season. Yes, I'm blowing my own horn. Now, let's get back to the ball game. What the Cowboys can do offensively against the Philadelphia Eagles, number one, run the football. So you may see DeMarco Murray get another solid day on the ground. He probably won't get 250 yards, but he can get 110, 120, and that's what you need to keep the offense on pace and keep the play action threat available for Tony Romo and keeping him clean in the pocket. Also offensively, again, I would take my chances throwing at Namde Asenwa. So if whoever's Antonio, whoever's uh, Des Bryant is on, try to get him matched up with Namde Asenwa and take chances. Namde does not play the ball well and there can be some chances to make big plays in the passing game if Bryant draws that coverage. Now defensively coming to this matchup, it's all about DeMarcus Ware staying active in the backfield. I know he's gonna get back there. I know he's gonna be a presence in pass rushing uh, situations, but he has to make sure he plays with contain. Once he gets back there, once he beats that tackle, he's, he needs to start to flatten out and close that gap. You don't wanna rush upfield and give Vic a lane. So I look for the defensive line of the Cowboys to get more push instead of pressure because that's what you have to do against a team like Vic and I also want the linebackers once these guys fly up the field those outside or inside linebackers have to step up and fill gaps because the Eagles do a great job running that quick trap with LaShawn McCoy now you look at the Eagles coming to this ball game one thing I do like about the Eagles running attack now that Andy Reid is starting to run the football a little bit more which is what we've asked for for a long time is that quick trap play that gives LaShawn McCoy the football in space it's almost like a punt return for him so he's going to always make the first guy miss and he does a great job of accelerating while making moves up the field and those type of plays are available against the Dallas Cowboys because of their aggressiveness so I look for more run plays out of those formations out of those spread formations those quick trap plays that's going to be some that's going to have a huge success against the cowboys also passing the football you want to find a way to get the safeties involved in coverage the safeties of the cowboys i still have some questions about so the eagles can get some opportunities where they match these guys up with tight ends or even getting the backs involved in the backfield out of the backfield get the safeties involved in the pass game for the cowboys now let's look at some x factor oh defensively i'm sorry in this matchup is all about stopping the run. If those linebackers do what they're supposed to do and play their assignments, if they fill gaps, I know that's a lot of ifs, if they can fill gaps against the Cowboys, that's how you stop the Cowboys run. Really stopping the run for the Cowboys is all about uh, stopping the run against the Cowboys is all about gap control. And that's where the Eagles get defeated. They don't have great gap integrity. The defensive line got to get better, better fits and linebackers have to do a better job of filling those gaps. Now you look at the X factors in this ball game. X factor for the Dallas Cowboys has to be the quality control of the ball, of ball control really. Um, if they can control the clock against Philadelphia, especially playing on the road, they can have some success. So look for a lot of running for DeMarco Murray. X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles has to be Andy Reid. He has to not have that mental block that says pass, 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 pass. If he can stay balanced, stay on track, take the same game plan from the Redskins uh, footage and utilize it this week against Dallas, they can have some success. And I'm going with the Eagles. I think they're winning at home. When it comes down to it, it's which quarterback would I trust in the clutch. I'm going with Michael Vick in this situation because I think this game will probably be a shootout. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.